Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another hilarious episode of The Age Before Beauty Podcast. I'm your host, Jim. And I'm your co-host, Sarah. Today, we're diving into the age-old debate. Should there be an age limit on those who run for office? We're talking about why 80 might be just a tad too old for all those responsibilities. That's right. Now, before we get started, I have to say, we're not ageists here. We just like to poke fun at things, and this topic is ripe for some comedy. Absolutely. So, let's jump right in. Picture this. An 80-year-old politician taking office. What could possibly go wrong? Well, for one, their campaign promises might sound like they're from a different era. I promise free typewriters for everyone. And don't forget your ration coupons. And imagine their campaign slogans. Vote for wisdom. We've seen it all, because we're practically fossils. But seriously, folks, let's talk about the responsibilities of office. Can an 80-year-old handle it all? I mean, I can barely handle my inbox at 30, let alone making decisions for an entire country at 80. And the State of the Union address? It would be more like the State of the Napping Union. Ladies and gentlemen, snore oh, the State of the Snore. Sorry, where was I? And what about those late-night emergency meetings? They'd have to move them to early bird special hours. The crisis in the Middle East will have to wait until after our 4.30 p.m. dinner reservations. But Jim, what about the technology? Can an 80-year-old politician keep up with the times? Good question. Picture them trying to navigate Twitter. How do I send a tweet, dear? Is this what they call, tweeter? And don't even get me started on Snapchat. What's this ghost icon? Is it haunting my phone? Now, we should remember that age can bring wisdom and experience. Absolutely, but it can also bring, memory loss. I propose we, um, what were we talking about again? And there's a real risk of them falling asleep during international negotiations. We'll sign the treaty right after my nap. Oh, did I just agree to give away Alaska? So, should there be an age limit on running for office? Well, it's a serious debate, but we can all agree it makes for some hilarious comedy. That's right. And remember, folks, age is just a number. Unless you're trying to run a country at 80, then maybe it's time to retire and enjoy some well-deserved shuffleboard. Well, let's take another break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Age Before Beauty Podcast. I'm Jim. And I'm Sarah. We're continuing our dive into the hilarious world of political age limits today. Why 80 might be just a tad too old for all those responsibilities. That's right. Now, let's explore another aspect of having octogenarians in office, their fashion choices. Oh, absolutely. Can you imagine an 80-year-old president trying to connect with the younger generation by sporting a neon tracksuit? I'm hip, I'm with it. Vote for the guy in the neon windbreaker. And what about their attempts to relate to the youth? I remember the good old days when we had to walk uphill both ways, in the snow, with a rotary phone. So, what's this TikTok thing all about? And if they try to incorporate some modern slang into their speeches? My fellow citizens, it's lit out there, and we're going to keep it 100. YOLO. Speaking of modern things, let's not forget the debates. Picture an 80-year-old candidate facing off with a younger opponent in a rap battle instead of a traditional debate. Yo, my name is Grandpa John, and I'm here to say, I've been in politics since back in the day. I may be 80, but I'm feeling spry. I'll beat you in this battle, no need to ask why. But let's give credit where it's due. These seniors would be great at filibustering. They could talk for hours about the good old days. You're absolutely right. Back in my day, we didn't have smartphones. We had to make phone calls from landlines, and if someone was using the internet, you couldn't make a call at all. Those were the days. Now, let's touch on foreign policy. Can an 80-year-old handle delicate international relations? Well, they might be a little too honest. Your Excellency, I must say, your country's leader has terrible hair. And I can't believe you put pineapple on pizza. Disgusting. And how about their ability to negotiate trade deals? I'll trade you three vintage vinyl records for a barrel of oil. Sound fair? Now, we're just having some fun here, but it's essential to remember that wisdom can come with age. Absolutely, and an 80-year-old president might have some wise advice, like, always remember to take your vitamins and eat your vegetables, America. And let's not forget about their bedtime routines. I'll make sure to schedule meetings between my 4 p.m. afternoon nap and my 8 p.m. bedtime. No late night decisions on my watch. So, should there be an age limit on running for office? That's a question for the ages, pun intended. 
Okay folks time for a quick snows break. Welcome back to this laugh-filled episode of The Age Before Beauty Podcast. Keep smiling, keep laughing, and remember, folks, age is just a number, but a presidential term is four years. Welcome back, folks. We're still unraveling the comedic potential of having 80-year-olds in office. Can they handle the responsibility? We'll see. Now, here's something to consider, Sarah. An octogenarian president might struggle with the tech-savvy younger generations. Can you picture them trying to solve an IT issue? Oh, absolutely. Jay, my email's been hacked. I think I clicked on that Nigerian prince email. Can you help me, dear intern? And imagine their social media blunders. Just posted a selfie on Instagram with the caption, feeling cute, might declare war later, IDK. Oops. Let's not forget about the late night phone calls. Mr. President, we have a crisis. I'm watching Matlock. Can it wait until after the murder trial? Speaking of TV shows, an 80-year-old president might have some interesting pop culture references. My fellow Americans, as the Beatles once sang, I get by with a little help from my friends, or was it the Rolling Stones? And their speeches would be a mix of dad jokes and historical anecdotes. Four score and seven. Oh wait, that's not my speech. That's from my history class in 1935. Let's not forget campaign slogans. Vote for me, I may be old, but I promise not to fall asleep in important meetings. Most of the time. Jim, we've talked a lot about what could go wrong, but there's one thing they might excel at, diplomacy. Imagine an 80-year-old president mediating international conflicts with a cup of chamomile tea. Now, Kim Jong-un, let's sit down, have some tea, and chat about world peace. And remember, dear, don't slurp. But seriously, folks, this debate isn't just about laughs. It's about finding the right balance between experience and fresh perspectives in our leaders. Absolutely. Age doesn't define a person's ability to lead effectively. We've seen vibrant and energetic leaders of all ages. So, should there be an age limit on running for office? Well, that's a conversation that will continue for generations to come. That's right, and while we ponder that, let's all take a moment to appreciate the wisdom, humor, and diverse experiences that leaders of all ages can bring to the table. Thank you for joining us on this laughter-filled episode of The Age Before Beauty podcast. Remember, folks, stay curious stay engaged, and stay laughing. Age Before Beauty. The comedy of political age limits. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another hilarious episode of the Age Before Beauty podcast. I'm your host, Jim. And I'm your co-host, Sarah. Today, we're diving into the age-old debate. Should there be an age limit on those who run for office? We're talking about why 80 might be just a tad too old for all those responsibilities. That's right. Now, before we get started, I have to say, we're not ageists here. We just like to poke fun at things, and this topic is ripe for some comedy. Absolutely. So, let's jump right in. Picture this. An 80-year-old politician taking office. What could possibly go wrong? Well, for one, their campaign promises might sound like they're from a different era. I promise free typewriters for everyone. And don't forget your ration coupons. And imagine their campaign slogans. Vote for wisdom. We've seen it all because we're practically fossils. But seriously, folks, let's talk about the responsibilities of office. Can an 80-year-old handle it all? I mean, I can barely handle my inbox at 30, let alone making decisions for an entire country at 80. And the State of the Union address? It would be more like the State of the Napping Union. Ladies and gentlemen, snore oh, the State of the Snore. Sorry, where was I? And what about those late-night emergency meetings? They'd have to move them to early bird special hours. The crisis in the Middle East will have to wait until after our 4.30 p.m. dinner reservations. But Jim, what about the technology? 